Hey everyone, Dan here from Hippo Crisis Gaming, and I'm here outside the um, Pokemon World Tournament. I had a little bit of a snafu um, because I kind of thought I'd check the tournament out, thinking it was just going to be like a side thing that was like a tutorial, um, so you can you know where it is to come back later in the game. But there was actually like a little storyline tournament where you fought this guy. Um, and and Hugh in the little thing and it was pretty cool and I thought oh this is really nice um, I better show it on camera and then like a complete idiot I went and saved after I'd done it so I'm kind of stuck now at this point which is annoying um, yeah I've got a few team members out um, of the bin of the bin no not the bin the PC um, so we've swapped Hannah and um, Greenleaf out for Skill Savage and Desiree. Because if you missed last episode, you'll you'll not have seen that Jackson unfortunately passed away. Um, these is the leveling up. We are slightly behind. I think the NPC level is about 30 now. But I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna uh, soldier on and go with army first and just kind of uh, hopefully they'll catch up. And I'm really really sorry in advance if anybody dies. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do a save now. Just so I know where I am. Um, I'm not sure if I've actually played for 25 hours because I do leave the lid shut and the 3DS on and I think sometimes when you have the, um, the thing open, the, uh, the C gear is it called? It does, it, the, the time ticks up, so I'm not sure if we have to play for 25 hours. If you battle? No. Okay. So that means that Cheron uh, and Hugh have run off to find Team Plasma who are on this boat. Um, and that's where we are in the storyline. Nothing much else happened, it was literally just showing off the tournament. Uh, but it's just a real shame that I, I didn't get it on film. Uh, on film? Oh, how archaic am I being? Okay, so, basically a load of ginger pirates are ganging up on us. <laughs> As you do. What type do these guys have? Is it the general villain, villain poison dark kind of things? I haven't been paying attention because I am an idiot, basically, let's face it. Let's face it. Coughing. Okay, poison. Poison levitate. No ground moves, haven't got any. So that, that's alright. Okay. I'm going to use double edge. And I'm s I've got such good defense that the... the wow. Well, that the... the um, what do you call it? The recoil damage is absolutely minuscule. So I have EXP share on um, skills at the moment, just to get skills up a bit. I, I shouldn't really be fighting with army because rubbish time. Well, I've got one of those two, and I'll have you know that uh, mine's probably better. Let's face it, Savage is a little boost. Alright, um, I guess the same, differ same difference, no, same plan. Go for a double edge. Ooh, he's getting his sludge bomb in first. Ha! Call that an attack. This is an attack. Boom! Someone's just taken out the trash. Oh! You can't mess with armor, you really can't. This is the Pokemon that I used to call pathetic. Okay, I can heal at the moment, so I'm going to do that. I'd, I'd like, but also extremely hate, a triple battle with Cheron and... Um, what do I want? Moo Moo Mill. Cheron and uh, Hugh and three Team Plasma members. It would be hella cray. I don't, what do I do now? Go talk to Cheren? 
Oh, okay, let's do a double battle. I love how it's like the urgency of like, there's two of us against you, bitch. And then, but he's got time enough to turn around and be like, Oh, I do say, Crisis, old chap. Would you mind giving me a hand? Which is my best, best prime charity impression. Alright, dude. I'm going to go for the goal bat. Oh yeah, normal type. Whoop. Okay, I'm gonna go for a return on Golbat now. Ah. Oh. Hopefully it automatically does it to Grimer then. Yeah. I know it, that was added in Gen Gen 4, I think they added that in. Um Okay, so you've got a, a Lipard and a and uh, what would have been, what would have been what I would have got. I had two thoughts at once there. What I was meaning to say was, he see they seem to have just got things I either have or wanted. And obviously, I had a uh, sand dial for the the most brief moment in history. Nice one, Stoutland. And skills is leveled up. Sweet. Um, belly drum. Belly Drum is a really cool move, but I'm not going to use it for this because um, basically Belly Drum halves the amount of health you have, or goes down to half of your health, but gives you maximum attack, which is would be absolutely stunning in a game where you can afford to faint. Uh, but as you can't, I'm not going to risk that. Nice one, Stoutland. Is he even human? <laughs> yeah, maybe he isn't, actually. Alright, now I've got to fight with Hugh. Okay, I'm going to swap C's. I'm going to take... I'm going to do an item switch... to Desiree. And I'm feeling a little quacky, so I'm going to go for Quack Scott, and we're going to see what we do. Oh, what do I do? Talk to Hugh. He is obsessed with that purloin, man. I swear to God, it's just like, get over it already. Grimer and coughing. Okay, so we're gonna go for an air slash, and we're gonna air slash Grimer. Could have coordinated that better, Hugh, I'll be honest. Ooh, the feared move. These moves are never good. Oh, they're alright, though. <laughs> okay, don't hurt me too much. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there now. In fact, it's, it, it's, it's much safer to heal because I never know when they're going to use Pursuit on me. This is so stressful right now. I don't like to be in the red. <sighs> Oi! No! Leave me alone! No! That was a bad poisoning. Ah! Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! Run for your life! Um, Savage can't be poisoned. And he's the same level as those things. I'm going to go for Savage. Don't let me down. Don't die is what I mean. Because I do like my Trubbish. That Servine is complete trash. Like, either slam is a really bad move. Ah, rub Jackson in my face, why don't you? 
Watchog, of course, is the Pokémon I would have very first caught. So, oh, you know, I should have. Oh, I didn't. I should have used Toxic Spikes, but I actually couldn't have used Toxic Spikes, so it's all right. I'm gonna get Watchog with my. Uh, My old uh, sludge. Don't be, don't, don't be, don't be, don't be killing me now. Every move I just fear. Seriously. There's only army that I dare like let get let get hit. Um, spot no. Sp Poison? No, they're not, they aren't poison types, so maybe I could go with Spot. And ah, Spot has that kick move. That could be cool. I can kick those normal types into shape. Ooh, that is a really good tactic. I would remember that if I still had Sucker Punch. Oh, this is this is this is one of those battles that isn't difficult, but just erring on the side of caution, every step you take makes it go on forever. Like I've been going like ten minutes now in not I mean not in this battle, but in the in the um in the episode and it's like it's weird how you can do one twenty five minute episode with like eight trainer battles in it. Maybe that's a little too many. Um, and then another one which just has like... Ooh. Um, another episode which just has like two. Nice one. Yeah, buddy. Good girl, you know it. I don't know what you know it was about. No! At this rate! Uh oh, P -p -p plasma! Because I've got fast text on, it's not now giving me time enough to read it. Hey, you're kidding, this is no good. What should we do? Gingers disband! Oh, oh, there they go. Oh, it's him! Who's that? Once again, we'll use Legendary Dragon type and rule over Unova. Is it Unova or Unova? Or Unova. Curious trainers, blah blah blah. Shadow Triad, get them. By the way, we are not your. Are they the guys that, like, hang around with Anne or something? Oh, this is weird. Zin Zolin. Yeah, we all heard him. Well, it clearly means that they're gonna have. Hold on, okay. Pokemon White. I got Zekrom. He had Reshiram. So that means Reshiram is still out there somewhere. So they're gonna use Res Reshiram to kick my ass. Or try to. Okay, so we have to go back to that um, place with all the bridges and the puddles. Okay. What you're saying makes less sense when, uh... Let's... Let me see if I can now go in and do, like, a repeat tournament. Because I think it would be nice to show you what the tournament works like. Okay. Okay, so it was a single battle I was in, but you can pick any kind. Single. And... You know what? I'm not going to use my Pokémon. I'm going to do a double battle with rental Pokémon. Uh, what do you think, guys? Left, middle, or... Oh, it's like... It's like Michael Barrymore, strike it, rich. If you know that. 
Uh, we'll go for the middle ticket. I think this is fun. Because um, that means if these guys die, we can't lose them. But I get to show you the... Okay, so we have... Back tick. The... Um, Icy one. We've got we've got a Servine. We've got a Maractus. So these are these three. Let's swap to this screen. These three are grass. Then we've got Ice, Flying Psychic, and a Dragon. I think we should probably go Dragon because there are no Fairy types in this game. Oh, we can do Summary. Okay. So we've got Dark Dragon. Okay. That's all right. No psychic moves. That's quite. But air slash is good. Um, tempted with this one, to be honest. Yeah, that's trash. That's trash. Okay, so we'll go for Bertic Sigilyph. Now, do I want? Let's look at the stats. That's a special attacker. Is Air Slash a special move? Yes. Alright, then we'll go for Sigilyph. And I guess Swaylus, so those three. We've got, yeah, we, 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 we don't have these types on our team, so we'll go for. This is exciting. Oh, four Pokemon? Oh, frick a dick. Alright, then, let's go for Servine. It was only three in uh, in the in in the practice in the not practice battle. The the thing that I didn't film is only three. Or oh, was it only three? No, it was. Okay, so you see we get we've got um, Roxy is in this battle. We've got uh, Ber Berg or whatever he's called, the gym leader from the six. I imagine that they're gonna win. And that they're going to win. So I have to fight the bug gym leader next time. And then it's going to be me against Roxy. That's how I imagine it's going to filter down. Um, rather than you just filtering these random idiots. But but they are renting Pokemon. So it could be anybody. Like they could have anything. And if these die, they aren't mine. <laughs> um... What I don't like about this tournament in terms of like a Nuzlocke situation is that like it's kind of um, it's kind of like a fight club or something you know like deathmatch I don't know it's like if you think about it is that Pokemon die when they fight oh I forgot we did double battle that's why it's four um, yeah buddy Okay, so let's do a bulldoze because ah, oh, that hits Zuelus as well. Or is Zuelus like a no? It's not flying, is it? Uh. All right, we'll not do that then. We'll do icicle crash on Momo or whatever it's called. Let's just attack the Alamomola. I kind of feel like I've already, you know, I've shown you all there is to offer, but I'll continue on. It's fun to watch battles, even if it's not part of the storyline. Um, or is it? Is it? Steel is weak to ground and fighting, I think. Uh, but he didn't have a fighting, did he? No. I might use Slash on Alamomola, um, and we'll go for a Dragon Rush on Clang. Ooh, that's the point. Did I take the leftovers off of Jackson? Ooh.
Goodbye, Berk Tick. Of course, you'll be alive in the next round if I win. But, um. Why didn't I pick one on one? Why? Okay, so. I am statistically going to be better off with Servine right now. Welcome to the fold. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> As you can see from the clock, it is half eleven at night, so I think I'm allowed to yawn. I know that guy. Actually, let's let's all focus on the uh, on Krang or whatever he's called. <laughs> Really? Dragon's not very really effective? I guess that makes sense. Oh no, Servine. You know what? I might actually just lose this. That would be embarrassing. And all as well, I didn't use my own Pokemon. When I, um, in the practice battle, like, they were all level like 25, so... I was like 6 levels above them. Um, whereas here everybody's 50. And this isn't my team, so uh, <laughs> I always find I always found the, the problem t with um, that kind of like the rental ones is that the move sets don't ever seem to make sense. But like, I don't know is is there a genuine tactic to set up a Sigalith like this? All oh, right, that's a good turnaround. I kind of prefer to lose than to uh, than to do all the battles. Actually, come to think of it, oh, another one gone. I do want you to know that I am actually trying, but at the same time, I'm going to pretend like I'm not. <laughs> okay, so Sigalith is the only one left, so... Um... We need a Steel type, is what I'm seeing. And that's us done with. So that's me out the tournament. What do you mean your training isn't strong enough? They are rental Pokemon. <laughs> it's not my fault. Hey, just what I want. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, but join me tomorrow for some more Pokemon. And, um, yeah. We'll explore this cave is what we'll do. And uh, we'll see what that has to hold. Alright. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.